Damn, this guy is on Valentine's Day. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to feel about this. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're doing a little bit of a reaction video. We're reacting to some Bangladeshi uh, actors and celebrity outfits. And if you like these kind of videos, let me know what you guys think. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. So first up, we got uh, the famous um, Anonto Joliu. Uh, not only is he a famous actor, but he's also um, a great businessman as well. First outfit over here, uh, we have him in a gray mock neck sweater. It's, it's nice, I like the sweater, uh, but I think it's a little, just a little bit too tight on him. I think that's how he likes his fit. So, you know, I'm gonna give him that. It looks good. Uh, it doesn't look bad at all. It's a nice fit. Black denim, uh, gray mock neck, turtleneck for the winter time. It's perfect because it looks like winter. He looks cold because man's drinking like what? A cup of tea or a cup of coffee. You know what I mean? To keep himself warm. So let's go see his next outfit. Let's go. Damn, this guy's all Valentine's Day, you know? This guy got the Valentine's Day outfit. Uh, pulled out the all red on red on red. That's crazy. This you see that he's wearing what like it looks like a Versace or like a Dolce & Gabbana t-shirt underneath um, With like a blood red suit, you know, if you if you have the confidence why not you know what I mean? Just do it. He has his own style So I'm gonna give him that it's not everyone's cup of tea people are gonna probably make fun of you if you're wearing something different uh, But you gotta you gotta be confident this guy looks like he doesn't care what anyone else thinks He's just doing himself so big ups to my man on Uncle Jolu. Uh, keep doing you. All right, next outfit. Next one over here, I see he, he's with his wife. He looks like he's like, he's traveling, he's on his vacation. Um, and yeah, a little bit of flexing on these guys over here. His wife got the Dior. He has the, the Louis Vuitton, um, you know, the duffel bag. And I think he's wearing Gucci on Gucci. Individually, the pieces are nice. Um, I just don't like people when they mix all these kind of different brands together. I think you just look like a walking um, Holt Renfrew. Holt Renfrew is like um, a big ass store where they get you can find Gucci, Balenciaga, Chanel, blah blah blah. So you just look like a walking store. You know what I mean? So not a not a thing for me. I feel like if you have statement pieces like a Gucci T-shirt, wear everything plain underneath or everything just subtle. This just looks like it's too busy. Uh, but you know, he wanted to pull out all his big guns. Uh, and uh, flex on them a little bit. So next one we got Apurbo. He's a um, famous actor over here in Bangladesh. He does a lot of natoks. So the first outfit that uh, he has on is this uh, brown um, sports jacket or blazer uh, with a black turtleneck and some jeans and boots. Um, you know, great look. The only thing I would change my pet peeve is when guys they wear like boots. Um, and uh, you can see their skin like you can see their ankles and everything like that because you're not wearing proper socks Right, so make sure you're wearing socks and you're covering up your ankle when you're wearing boots It just looks super odd and if you can see it just looks a little odd and uh, just doesn't like you know It doesn't look seamless to me um, other than that great look. It's it's clean I would probably also not do brown boots. I would do like black leather or black suede boots You can do that as well uh, but overall, a great look. Uh, just the socks for me um, is not working out. Next look. So the next one over here, he's wearing a Punjabi, and um, he is wearing like a, I'd say like a light blue with uh, black uh, pajama. Um, although a great look um, for me personally, I would I wouldn't really go like that dark like black over here, and then like a light blue. Light blue is a very cool color, and then when you're mixing black, it just like just sucks everything out of that, uh, the light blue. Um, so I don't know, it just doesn't go. If you were to do, let's say, a white or a beige or like a cream, uh, would look 10 times better. Still keeping the velvet loafers or those low castle loafers on. So next outfit. This one right over here, I would definitely 10 out of 10 would wear. I love my white Punjabis and shawls. So I see here he's having, he has this like a dark blue velvet shawl with nice embroidery in the, you know, around the edges. It's beautiful. I'd give this look like, you know, a 9 out of 10. It always goes, especially during the winter time. Um, it's a go-to outfit and uh, yeah, it's very nice. So the next person we have is Dasan Khan. He is a famous musician. 
and uh, I've been a fan of his for ever since I was a little kid, starting from Black, and um, you know, he, he's a very fashionable guy, so let's see what he has to offer. The first outfit we have over here is a tux, but it's not your regular, um, you know, black tux. It has a little bit of an avant-garde feel to it uh, with the straps, the leather straps on the side, and the lapel to be, you know, leather as well. Um, I think it's nice, it's super, it fits them very nicely. Overall, it's a perfect look. I think if you're trying to be different, because everyone does, you know, the same uh, black and white tux. This just makes you stand out from the crowd. I would give this a 9 out of 10. Perfect look. Next one. Next one over here is super casual. He's layered. He's wearing a Sherpa, a lambskin uh, coat. Uh, th those things are super comfortable and cozy. Keeps you warm throughout the entire, like, harsh winters. Um, I see he's not wearing socks, so I used to do that too, you know, in the beginning, like, cause I didn't really like wearing socks with my loafers, and I used to be in like negative 30 degrees and uh, not wearing socks. People would call me crazy, and right now, if I think about it, it was a little crazy because it looks odd, like, you know, why would you not wear socks when it's cold out? But you know, it's to each their own. But I would, I would wear socks uh, with this outfit, but like overall, super nice. Um, layers on layers he, he even has like a nice scarf around it uh but yeah super nice cozy nice look next one this one he's wearing a double breasted the color combination and coordination is perfect uh, i love the tie i love the color of the suit the double breasted is amazing if you can rock the double breasted i suggest go with that i think uh, if you're really used to like having your blazers button and while sitting down you find yourself doing that going double breasted it just makes you look much much better uh, it has a double breasted has more of like, you know, that gangster feel and I mess with that heavy. I uh, love this look. Um, yeah, nothing to say about it. It's amazing. Next one. So next up we have uh, Siam. He is an actor and uh, their first look over here, he's wearing a red velvet tuxedo with a red bow tie, white shirt and black pants. Um, everything is great in this. The fit of the blazer is quite nice. I just don't like wearing belts with suits, first of all, because your suit, if it fits right, uh, it's supposed to be like a dress, it's supposed to be seamless. Uh, whenever you put a belt on where, while wearing a suit, it just divides your upper body to your lower body, and it just looks, I don't know, to me it just looks odd. Um, without a belt, it would have been better, I wouldn't recommend that to you, uh, but other than that, great fit. Next look. This one over here. Uh, I don't, I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, he's wearing a blue blazer and uh, gray pants. The pants are making him look like a midget. I'm not gonna lie, it just looks makes him look so much shorter than he is because of the way it's cut. It's drop crotched and it's rolled up so you can see his ankle. It just makes, if you, if you actually look at his upper body to his lower body, it looks like it doesn't look proportionate. The blazer is good, but it looks a little long for him and the pants are short. So overall, uh, wouldn't give this fit, you know, a high mark. Um, and also I see what he did with the sneakers. Yeah, hundred percent. You can wear sneakers with suits if you're doing something casual, but he's wearing it with a shirt. If you were maybe, let's say kept this blazer, forget the shirt, wear a white t-shirt, wear jeans, or even just black chinos. Um, and then wear, you know, wear your sneakers. You know what I mean? Would be a much better look for me. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Show some love to your boy. If you like these kind of videos, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And follow me on my social media, Shazad Akib, DM me. Uh, let me know what you think. And see you guys in the next video. Let's go.